Welcome to ACCA F2 Pilot Paper Part 1. <coughs> this short video uh, will cover the recommended approach, exam technique and time management tips uh, in relation to the F2 uh, paper in Management Accounting. It will be based on the pilot paper questions and solutions. My name is John Gillespie and I am a full-time ACCA tutor at Griffith College in Dublin. This is my email address and I'd be happy to hear from you uh, if you have any comments or suggestions. This is the uh, relationship diagram from the syllabus guidelines that's included on the ACCA website and it shows the six areas A through F of the F2 syllabus. And what I want to show you in particular is the weighting, the exam paper percent of papers by each of these areas. So the first section, 5%. Second section, cost classification and behaviour is 10%. This is the area looking at fixed costs, semi-variable costs, and fixed costs, graphical interpretation in the main. The next section is business maths and computer spreadsheets. So this will look at areas such as regression, correlation and some some fairly elementary questions on spreadsheets. The next section 30% is cost accounting techniques and this section has uh, covers the uh, areas of absorption costing, marginal costing, process costing, job and service costing and is a major section of the paper. This is followed by budgeting and standard costing uh, so here we've got budget preparation, uh, variance analysis, that type of thing, 20% of the paper. And the last section, section E, short-term decision-making, 25%. Here we're looking at subjects such as relevant costing and decision-making and linear programming, the use of limited resources. You'll see from this particular diagram that the weighting of the questions is 75% for the last three sections. Uh, so this should indicate to you the amount of time that you need to spend in the relevant area. I strongly recommend that you look at the study guidelines on the ACCA syllabus guidelines for the paper and ensure that your study covers adequately the uh, papers mentioned. The format of the paper and layout it's pretty much the same for the paper-based exam or for the computer-based exam uh, and that is that there are 50 questions on the paper there are multiple choice uh, there are 10 one mark questions giving you a total of 10 marks and there are 40 two mark questions giving you a total of 80 marks so in all there are 90 marks on the paper that you need to address. Timing, as they say, is everything. And so, from an exam time management point of view, uh, for 90 marks in two hours, which is the time allowed for the paper, that gives you 1.33 minutes per mark. But I recommend to students that it's better to aim for 1.25 minutes per mark. So that's 1.25 minutes for a one mark question, roughly a minute. 2.5 minutes for a two mark question. So I suppose that would be between two and three minutes for a two mark question on average. Recommended exam approach so that you keep a good uh, handle on your time would be as follows. Do the one mark questions first. This should take you about 10 minutes or less. Once completed you're left with the 40 two mark questions which you then need to complete. From a time management point of view you need to complete four two mark questions every 10 minutes. So the remaining 40 questions should be completed in 100 minutes. After an hour it's important that you check the progress that you've made and at that stage you should have completed 30 of the 50 questions. So that's 10 one mark questions plus 20 two mark questions. So that's 30 questions out of 50. 30 questions out of 50 and it's also 
50 marks out of the possible 90. So hopefully at this stage you've passed your exam. In the last hour you have to complete 22 mark questions and when you have completed these you should be left with about a 10 minute contingency at the end. This is enough to allow you to go back over any questions that uh, you have had to uh, move on from and also any questions that you had a doubt about. It's important that you do move on from questions that you have a doubt about or that you get stuck in. Your approach should be to put in a provisional answer on your answer sheet, note the answer and use the contingency at the end of the paper to come back and have another look at it. Change it if required. Practice makes perfect. When you're practicing, I recommend that you practice against the clock. Uh, you should do more than one question at a time. I suggest you do up to five questions at a time. And your target time, therefore, for five two-mark questions would be five times 2.5, 12.5 minutes would be your target. You need to make sure that you're managing within this particular time. At first, you may not be meeting the time standard, but you will need to get to that level in order to be successful in this particular exam. Now it's time to look at the F2 pilot paper itself, and you can find the paper on the F2 uh, on the ACCA website, and the address is www.accaglobal.com. You will find the paper under the uh, student resources and exam resources under the F2 section. So please join me for part two of this video when we will tackle the one mark questions and work through the paper. Thank you.